What's up guys, Quinn here. Today I'm gonna break down this super cool stop motion hand movement effect. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I just, I made it up, it sounded right. I saw this done a while back by the talented Cash Bunny, and I recently incorporated it into a video I created for Renaissance Hotels. So after doing this effect myself, I found the best and most visually effective way to shoot this is all in camera. So literally where your hand is in front of the lens and you're shooting frame by frame your hand movement. But there is an alternative way to add your hand in later, and I'll walk through that process as well. But let's start with how to do this in camera. First, we'll set the camera to manual mode to have full control over the settings. You'll especially want a higher shutter speed so your images are sharp. I recommend using a monopod. This will help alleviate some of that camera weight since you'll be shooting with one hand. You can also use a tripod or play around with different rigs, but it's not totally necessary. You can definitely shoot this handheld. With that being said, let's start with some of the common movements you can do. This first one is a pinch zoom in and out motion. We'll go ahead and use the camera grid to lock on a subject. I'm using the center of my computer screen in this case. And then the general flow will kind of look like this. So the hand moves out in a pinching motion and the camera moves in. All right, I'm gonna set the scene. So I'm gonna have my hand come in from out of frame. Since this is stop motion, I will be snapping photos at pretty much every little few inches of movement. And then once my fingers land on the subject at the center there, I'm gonna start taking physical steps forward. And then you'll see my fingers kind of slowly pinching outward frame by frame as I'm moving closer and closer to the subject. And then obviously depending on what you're shooting, the distance between where you wanna start and where you wanna land, you'll play around with how many frames you wanna shoot and kind of like the positioning of your hand. All right, so once we have all those shot, we can kind of do like a quick live review. And you can kind of see the movement here in action. So it's like a little pinch and then a zoom in. And then to do the zoom out, it's pretty much the same thing in reverse. So we'll start with the hand out of frame and the fingers are kind of fully spaced out. And then I'll take a step back and take a step back. And with each step back, I'll move my fingers closer together to do the pinch motion. And I'll put my hand kind of further out into the frame. And then next is a swiping motion. So we can use this to move around different spaces or directions. And to do it, I'm gonna start by having my hand come into frame. I'll pick a spot that's sort of on the right side of the frame. In this case, I'm kind of locking onto my closet here. And then I'm gonna slowly rotate the camera towards the right. And with each frame, my finger is gonna kind of stay locked onto that one point. And then eventually I'll stop the motion and kind of land on one area. And then in this case, I wanna keep the movement going. So I'll bring my hand back into frame, kind of pick a spot on the right side of the frame again, and then rotate the camera as my finger stays locked onto that one point. And this is just a movement to the right. So you can do this in pretty much any direction if you follow kind of this guideline. And finally, you can always use your hand for transition. So in this case, I'm gonna do a match cut transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my computer screen with my camera grid. I'll have my hand start at a frame and I'll snap each picture with the movement of me kind of poking the top of my computer screen and then I'm gonna run over to my little camera monitor here since it's a similar shape and I'll do the reverse. I'll have my hand start in frame and then with each movement, I'll snap a photo of it slowly coming out of frame. So it's kind of like poking the screen to match cut into something else. And you can get as creative as you'd like with this. These are just a few of the movements and techniques I use for the video that I made. Now, sometimes shooting everything in camera can be tricky. Your arms might get tired. You might be in like an awkward position or you don't wanna miss the moment you're capturing. And that's what happened to me as I was making my video for Marriott. There are quite a few scenes where I added my hand in later on. So once I had my video edited, I went ahead and shot my hand at home frame by frame on a clean backdrop. Now there's a little bit more involvement in this because of lighting. You'll need to light your hand as close to the in-camera shot as possible in order for it to blend naturally. Then you'll wanna import your images and line them up with your original stop motion edit. For each frame, you'll draw a mask around your hand to cut it out from the background. From here, you can adjust any scaling or position issues as well as add a layer of color correction to match it even further to the background. And here are all the scenes from the video where I added my hand in later. 
This is to give you some idea of the transitions and ways you can use this effect. And that is a few different techniques on how you can achieve this effect. And make sure you get a manicure beforehand. Can't wait to see your hand videos. That sounds weird. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one.